working day. Now I would like to invite our deputy head of the administration of the president of Ukraine, Mr. Valery Chaly. We'll speak about results of the me or meetings of the forum in Davos, which is still there in Switzerland. Please. Uh, good afternoon, dear participants of this uh, of this press conference. Uh, thank you for coming. In fact, I would like an, now to inform you about important issues, probably that the agenda of the president in foreign activities uh, is quite uh, big. And uh, though there were some uh, assessments uh, that we don't need to to have visits, foreign visits, and I'll express my opinion. I completely disagree with that because of the war, which continues. It doesn't matter how we call, call it. It exists on all the levels, including the diplomatic and uh, the part of, uh, of uh, information war, con uh, warfare. It's very important for us. Uh, the issue of um, to keep uh, the position of our partners uh, uh, to be united and, and uh, support on us. And uh, this is the task from the, uh, the president uh, to the foreign office. Davos, which was planned uh, quite a long time ago, and uh, his participation was planned, it became uh, it's a very good uh, ground. It was a good of immediate direction to those information threats and uh, concrete steps of the aggression of aggression against Ukraine. The visit of the, the president to Switzerland uh, con uh, combined two components and uh, Switzerland and uh, strategic uh, statement on prospects of Ukraine about new European future in in Turkey University in the Institute of Europe and uh, where his uh, the Churchill's uh, speech in uh, 2015, the, the president, president announced in the same office where Churchill in uh, 1946 uh, spoke about uh, unification of Europe, about joint position, and uh, now the voice of Ukraine was heard there. That speech, that statement was commented broadly before the economic uh, forum and uh, the same at the same time there were articles in uh, international publications and uh, Frankfurt Allgemeine Zeitung and uh, despite a coordinated now counter information game and they wanted to disrupt this uh, the statement of the president after his uh, quite clear assessment and the most important uh, dispraisal of the position of uh, I can say that was uh, uh, orchestrated and uh, provocated, but they received a completely different effect. And there was a support of the position of Ukraine and uh, support of Ukrainian uh, leadership. But that's what we expected. As to information support, the president, during this uh, very short uh, uh, visit, he had to reduce uh, his visit to Davos. So Davos is still there. But in that uh, short uh, time, we ex achieved the maximum results. Why? Because it is a unique chance uh, for organizers, and we are thankful. Uh, half, uh, half uh, an hour statement of the president that was uh, broadcasted uh, from Davos uh, Big Hall. And probably you observed that how the president showed a concrete evidence of the aggression of terrorism in Ukraine. Material evidence. I was there. I can tell you that emotional component of represent, and there were representatives from more than 150 countries, and uh, there were li li heads of states, and but there were more than uh, 2,000 uh, representatives from business, uh, from leaders uh, from different uh, sectors. And when uh, the president showed that evidence, uh, that part of that bus which was, which was uh, shelled through. That's uh, quite a different that, uh, to, to describe the situation. That was uh, taken uh, as the fact of terrorism in Ukraine is the same like attacks uh, in uh, Paris, in uh, the same like MH17 shut down. And uh, so the president was, uh, was supported and uh, understood uh, meetings uh, there. As to information component, uh, that was a close to a meeting with uh, 
uh, um, editors and chiefs of um, leading pub publications uh, though it was closed about uh, I said the same things uh, that I, uh, tr that uh, they told so that the president uh, described the situation and they could uh, the key media received information right away from him and uh, they are now they understand uh, the truth then there were interview uh, with leading uh, media world well, Street John and Le Monde uh, and in general, the audience uh, of uh, those uh, publications uh, the, for several millions. But it is more important that uh, in Ukraine, not only journalists, but also I'm um, uh, very thankful uh, to uh, TV channels uh, that uh, uh, broadcasted uh, the statement of uh, the president in Davos. And uh, the message has came uh, also to Ukraine. Many million of people received uh, information about the situation. That was uh, during uh, the attacks, information war, uh, warfare attacks, and you saw how Russian media, they, they neglect uh, the notion of an um, information message because they turn everything around, upside down. And, and uh, they d provided distorted information uh, to spectators. So this w it's very important to provide a true information. It's a part of our policy, but also the walls. It's a, an opportunity to have efficient uh, bilateral meetings. I announced uh, before the walls that we were planning to have 10 uh, bilateral meetings. At that moment, it was quite a brave statement, but now I can tell you that w we had more of such meetings. So there was a compulsory uh, program, and we uh, did even more. And the most important uh, to have the uh, meeting with the uh, Prime Minister of uh, China. And um, we discussed uh, concrete uh, tools of cooperation. We have a legacy, a very heavy legacy from uh, Yanukovych. We got a lot of uh, loans, but uh, the projects uh, were money, were stolen or they were frozen. Now, we have uh, to clarify this, this situation and we have to build uh, uh, relations with such an important country as uh, China. We have uh, such meeting was not planned, but um, two sides agreed that it's uh, important uh, to have it. Uh, that was a clear message uh, to, from uh, China that uh, they support uh, territorial uh, integrity and sovereignty of Ukraine. That's very important as a very important element of our global fight for to get support to get support for Ukraine. In addition to that, uh, the issue of that was not solved and now it is resolved. So the issue of uh, of uh, uh, currency swap for uh, 15 billion yuan and that opens an opportunity for better trust to the financial system of Ukraine also that will support uh, trade operations as so. well. That's a base. It's an agreement on, on the highest level. I will not uh, speak about uh, the schedule, but we understand about our further steps uh, on uh, how to build relations, uh, improve relations with uh, China. The meeting with Prime Minister of uh, Turkey, Novota Glu, that's an opportunity to to put our clocks in harmony with our neighbor. But uh, two parties uh, clarified uh, the positions, especially after some information uh, that uh, the position of Turkey was different. No, there is no different position of Turkey. Uh, Turkey supports uh, so the so sovereignty and the uh, territorial integrity of Ukraine at the issue of Crimea that was uh, discussed. And I will not give you uh, all details, but uh, they coordinated uh, their steps as to the issue of Crimea, and uh, that uh, both uh, parties uh, mentioned uh, that uh, the issue of uh, Crimea and is not even discussed. Uh, Crimea is, was, is, and will be Ukrainian, but there is an issue now of uh, supporting uh, Crimean Tatars. Uh, some of them had uh, to move from Crimea to move out, and the support of support for their families and uh, uh, support with information that will grow. It will be more to those uh, achievement uh, to have uh, me 
uh, a meeting of uh, ministers of energy, ministers of uh, finances. So there's concrete work and uh, on uh, how to coordinate uh, these activities. It's uh, important um, in the visit of the president that he and coordination and agreement of the positions, uh, harmonizing positions with other countries. So EU, there were meetings, uh, bilateral meetings in the format uh, longer format than like with the prime minister of uh, the Netherlands and uh, meet meetings with uh, prime ministers of uh, in the framework of the forum, there was a, that was a very good uh, ground. You could have very short but efficient meetings with the leaders of, the, of different countries. That's why a political component uh, was um, used, and uh, but also there was a component, uh, financial component. As you know, Davos is not the place where they sign agreements, but it doesn't mean that some some experts uh, surprised me, who told uh, that there is no need to, to go anywhere. You will not get any finances uh, at such a place as Davos. That surprised me from a pro professional point of view. We, uh, sp the president, spoke to uh, uh, the head of um, IMF, uh, Christine Lungard, and uh, they achieved a very important uh, and very strategic decision. They agreed that a standby program uh, could be replaced with the extended fund facility, which is uh, for longer term, which uh, has uh, more finances. That's a message. Two countries who can participate in uh, micro, micro, micro financial support of Ukraine and also countries who invest. Uh, that's a very good sign and message. We're very positive that uh, Mrs. Lagarde told in public that uh, she will recommend it to the Council of Internet IMF right away after uh, after uh, January uh, 29 when they are done with their work in Ukraine. That they would uh, at the board meeting they would uh, support such position and to recommend uh, to the board to support that program. I hope from those messages uh, we we received I, th I think it's uh, quite realistic and that's the vision of for a long term program. This is quite a new signal, quite a new message and uh, the president. Uh, brought uh, from Davos and uh, today we we uh, we have a clear, more clear idea of how to 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 deal with that uh, package of uh, micro financial support uh, macro financial support m m meetings with uh, representatives of business uh, from some uh, world companies that work uh, with Ukraine gave unexpected results during those meetings, uh, that was they confirmed that in the near future to, they wanted to invest about um, 1.5 billion dollars into Ukraine, even under these uh, conditions, financial and uh, under conditions of the world business, uh, quickly reacted to the, that message. And these are uh, real money that will go to IT sector, agrarian center sector. So this is the issue of of the near future. So we, without waiting. We have not expected such investments, and uh, the president, he achieved that. There will, this is an answer to those who doubted this this uh, trip and also who doubted this activity. The government also is more responsible, but we should be uh, is dealing with this. But we should uh, be united to how to uh, in, on the issues, uh, so we don't. We everybody should work in one direction. We have internal challenges, economic, financial, and also we need to find answers for them. It's not less important than the defense of the country because all of these are that's uh, those sectors where they wanted to destabilize the situation. That's where they wanted to attack, and we will defend our positions. But message from the president: uh, they included also one more uh, component, one more sector. That's uh, that's uh, stability. Defense of the country and security, energy, uh, uh, security, peaceful plan of the president. Uh, the president made clear that he is the president of peace. That's why the fight for peace, uh, that's what we do, will continue. We'll force, if you want, it will be 
put an, uh, into peace, uh, pacifying those who are very aggressive, and we'll try uh, we'll try to involve the world, uh, the international community. That's why the package about uh, the second package of a peaceful uh, plan is not uh, changed. That was confirmed one more time, and it was uh, emphasized that Ukraine stands for and um, stands for peace, and uh, that was in. And we would like uh, to uh, have a meeting of uh, trilateral contact groups, and uh, that could be for performance of a political level. That was emphasized, and that was uh, received well. Why was it received? Because if you look at the uh, at presentations of leaders' uh, statements and uh, Angela Merkel, she, she supported uh, the position of, of Ukraine quite clearly. and. Uh, she gave assessment of uh, who is working against a peace and who is working for peace. And uh, it's very difficult for those who would like her to break that uh, position, um, to break friendship between Ukraine and uh, EU. Is despite everything which is done to sh just to show that uh, there is uh, no united position in EU. There is a united position. Even in the morning, I saw the interview of the Prime Minister of uh, the Netherlands, who told clearly for the question, so maybe uh, sanctions, uh, we can, uh, in the future, we can uh, easy f f sanctions. He thought, despite uh, that uh, economic losses, and uh, he says, it's a correct position, we'll uh, follow it. We'll, because our task, as the President told, uh, not, not to destroy something, but to build a peace and uh, to return normal, stable uh, stability to this part of the world. In addition to that, I believe that it was clear for all that Ukraine needs support. But Ukraine has Ukraine also has a huge potential in partners, our partners are told here in Ukraine when we fight against aggression daily and we see problems and uh, for years, for decades, we didn't have reforms, uh, real steps uh, to change the structure of our economy when the Financial uh, experts say that you have huge opportunities, and that encourages and uh, that uh, allows her to be optimistic about the future of Ukraine. So the third message was that Ukraine is is ready for reforms. It wants reforms, and uh, uh, the president told about that clearly. What we did and what we'll, uh, we are doing. They provided not only moral support, but uh, they would like to uh, con concretely help Ukraine on the level of international organizations and um, the middle of the head of uh, the Organization of Economic uh, Cooperation and Development, uh, Mr. Guri. And uh, that demonstrated two things. OCD, that organization, uh, they confirmed that uh, the statement from uh, March 12, 2014 uh, to uh, seize cooperation with Russia as uh, to further development of uh, it was confirmed once again uh, they told uh, that, that there will be no uh, this position will not be changed uh, this is uh, the only it was uh, approved unanimously and there will be no different decision it's a signal it's a message from that organization which is playing an important role in Europe also it was stated that uh, the best uh, anti-corruption policy practice will be shared with Ukraine and on the 26th of uh, March. Uh, and there will be an event in Ukraine on anti-corruption policy and uh, how to build institutional capacity and also the programs on uh, on uh, joining Ukraine or an instrument uh, how to bring U Ukraine closer to the Convention on uh, uh, Bribes, Fight and Declaration on International uh, Investments and Multinational uh, Corporations. Uh, but it, uh, Complicated name, but it means that we'll t we take the best of experience that they have in the world, uh, which helps uh, to give a clear message to investors, and and we'll introduce it in, in Ukraine with the help of our partners who uh, donate money for that, and they will collect money for that uh, from other countries. So there is a clear plan on uh, of cooperation, and maybe in the future we will. We will become members in that organization in the future. I underline once again for us. However, there was a message. You can uh, even today, without being members, go get the result of uh, this integrational cooperation with this organization. And we are going to work on this uh, in uh, the lobby 
and uh, behind the scenes of the forum and you know there's an opportunity to meet everyone there was a lot of meetings but i think that the main thing is that the president has completed the program that was outlined and although this was on the very first day of the forum's work i think we were successful more than that a group of ukrainian ministers and uh, officials and members of ukrainian public society are still there they are working according to their program and there is a minister for foreign affairs klimkin and the minister of uh, uh, finance Yaresko and uh, mayor of Kiev Klitschko and the head of the National Bank and the Minister for Economy Abramovich. It is a powerful team who will continue to arrange for what was talked about by the president. This is the start of the implementation of uh, what was uh, formulated by the president and this is uh, an ongoing work. Besides, I think I would like to, before you ask the questions, I would like to brief you on the plans. The visit of the president, the working visit of the president to Poland is planned for the nearest future to mark the 70th anniversary of the liberation of uh, Auschwitz. And you know that Ukrainians have played a immense role in the liberation of Auschwitz and it, the Ukrainians were in huge numbers while the Soviet army was liberating concentration camps and Europe in uh, general and I can tell you that in parallel there will be also events in Prague but the president of Ukraine won't go there he will go to Poland. There was a lot of factors that uh, determined such a decision. Besides, we are getting ready for another important forum dedicated to security issues, Munich, the start of February. And this process of preparation will first be linked to the meetings here in Kiev. We will uh, get some very important visitors from the leading countries of the world and we will discuss our coordination of actions with them. So in Munich there will be a huge representation, security issues, coordination of uh, actions and strengthening the capacity of the Ukrainian army. All are on the agenda of foreign policy actions of the president. So this is the schedule for the nearest future. I think that not only through the presidential site where the information about divorce was uh, placed, but through direct communication to Ukrainian journalists, we will provide you with the information so that you are kept abreast the results of the foreign policy actions of uh, the presidents. Could you tell us, you said that some preliminary arrangements were made. I understand that uh, the documents were not signed about investment. Maybe you can be more detailed about this. You said that there is a specific plan. Could you reveal a mystery to us, a secret to us? Which companies, which states? Well, usually in such projects, well, you know, those are in essence private investment i can tell you that for instance there is a desire of cargill company to broaden their work in ukraine they've been working here for a number of years well there are problem issues there that the government should solve like the return of vat and uh, our general investment climate. But the companies that see prospects 
are working for a prospect because uh, besides rather unexpected, we had a meeting with a Wimplecom company that previously was usually considered a Russian company. I'll be frank, this was the reason why we were cautious about working with them. But when we understood that in essence, this company will enter Ukraine with investment from Europe and uh, Americans are now managing this company. I think that under these conditions, several hundred million dollars is something that we should welcome. This is the IT technology sphere. I named only two examples, but there were a lot of other arrangements. This is commercial sector. There will be tenders. The figures are approximate, but the companies of the world level are really prepared to invest in Ukraine. Two questions. Were you talking about the restoration of Donbass, maybe about some money to involve in this? And the second issue, there's again a new crossing regime in the anti-terrorist operation zone. There's a huge number of complaints. As far as the financial help to Donbass is concerned, first of all, I would break this question. First, there's a general issue of uh, donor macrofinancial help because there's a lot of IDPs who are no longer in the occupied territory. And this also pertains to Crimea, not to Donbass alone. But of course, there are people there who should get humanitarian help. And we are working on this, although this is mostly the responsibility of the government. But we are working to convene a donor conference about a big package of help to Donbass. I think that this will happen in March or April, more or less realistically, so the work is going on. Besides, very soon there will be a huge humanitarian cargo from the European Union, and the commissar, commissioner of the European Union is going to be here specifically for this action, and we are already doing something together. Uh, the second issue is not within the, my sphere of competence, so I think that the main thing is that there is a coordination mechanism, but my personal opinion is that, as usual, when new measures are being introduced, uh, it does not work smoothly from the very start. But the major thing is why this issue is uh, introduced. The main thing is not to stitch some holes. The main thing is to provide for the state situation when the Minsk agreements are fully implemented. We should uh, also close the border and put to order the crossing issues. You know, we have a bigger problem. We have war on our hands. And the priority for us is to stop the escalation, to stop the war, to stop further movement. And then we will be able to solve all other issues. It's Dan McLaughlin from the Irish Times. Um, has the president held any talks since returning from Davos with Western leaders or any conversations on the telephone with President Putin? Or are any of these conversations planned um, over the next hours or days? And this week, the head of the US Army, the commander of the US Army in Europe was here in Kiev. Is, um, is Ukraine receiving any uh, military supplies now that you can tell us about, or intelligence information, or um, military advice from any of its Western partners, including the United States. Thank you. 
in it for the second one. You know, we are, you remember from the very beginning, we are discussed these issues and uh, needing of support of Ukraine with our partners. Now the situation is much better. We have the very concrete plans. You just mentioned visits. We have understandable and coordination between our MOED, MFA, and our intelligence service with our partners. So we are satisfied. The uh, level of cooperation, uh, we are satisfied with this level of cooperation for today. But we are not satisfied with dynamic of this uh, cooperation because of the changing situation on the ground. Uh, escalation and attempts to attack Ukraine and to extend this occupation zone and attempts to do and pushing our partners to think strategically and to think now to increase to extend this support for Ukraine. It's no problem with, uh, as I mentioned very time, with lethal weapons. We have produced lethal weapons. Now the situation is much better. You've seen this president personally take, uh, to control the situation and to supply this uh, tanks this produce in Ukraine, new types of air support and uh, our arms uh, vehicles. So we need more uh, communication, we need counter better, we need defensive uh, weapons and uh, most of them can be used for monitoring and verification of these contact lines and uh, uh, border. That's why we are most interested in such a special uh, additional facilities like drones for example this uh, guarantee control and uh, common position common comments from the OEC Ukraine and uh, Russian uh, side so that's main priority for us in the same time we continue this program of cooperation on my bilateral level I can to give you figures uh, is uh, impossible but be, be frank with you and please please trust me that we are continuous uh, this uh, military cooperation it's not prohibit for us we can continue military cooperation because Ukraine has according to UN regulation export control everything uh, and the same thing with intelligence now much better than beginning so we have the very clear evidences uh, or presence, who is sent, who is the deliver, who is the supply uh, rebels, who is support them, so we understand which weapons used and unfortunately I should now to say that unfortunately that's increasing of these supplies from recent weeks to Ukrainian territory. That's a real threat for Ukraine and our partners have own intelligence and understand, sharing with us, but understand every our uh, United States or European country understand what's uh, now with the development. Unfortunately, this is not a good way. That's why once again, the president of Ukraine uh, tried to uh, facilitate the process of implementation of uh, Minsk arrangement and peace plan. This is the most important, but I want to emphasize that the most important to implement everything, if all 12 points. You know, hostages, our additional hostages now that capture, and our Nadia Savchenko, that's, if I'm not mistaken, it's almost 40 days now in Russian prison, and she is now really under threat for she live if she live it's that's a real problem for us and president of ukraine mentioned in divorce for all world it's a completely unacceptable in the 21st center such type of uh, such approach that's why hostages closing border touch line and uh, after that when we understand we are this contact line or touch line and closing border we can go to the political process on the table Constitutional reform with decentralization on the table. Proposal for special economic uh, status, if you want, for the, some territories of Donbass, Donetsk and Luhansk. On the table, the proposal for the election for the next time. But not a type of election like uh, we are seeing, the fake election, but the real electoral local authorities according to Ukrainian legislation. All this package exists. Please take it. Implement it. And please uh, do it in the very next days, because if we lose the time for the next day, weeks, we'll go. It's a real threat for full-scale war. That's why we, can, we, we, we want to avoid that. And once again, President Intent, that's why this coordination in the different formats with political leaders continues every week, every day. And uh, with President Putin, President Poroshenko have a phone calls maybe one uh, in two weeks, not less even uh, 
something like that. It's, but with uh, Chancellor Merkel, President of France, uh, American partners, uh, that's uh, phone calls every day. So I can even calculate now. I, I think it's more than 200 for the recent months. Thank you. Uh, could you please tell us, you're telling us about the investment and donors who can help us today, especially the east of the country. Do you know the situation and how will you react if you will be asked about the IDPs who are now in Slovyansk or adjacent territories while they temporarily live on a tourist basis are paying as legal entities and they are united to associations. What do you mean? Physical individuals pay as legal entities. I, um, is it about the price? Yes, about the price. The tourist camps that were abandoned in Slovyansk, they were allowed to settle there, but because they are, they are paying huge bills. You know, I cannot comment. I, it, this is not the case to comment on. I'll just ask the Vice Prime Minister, Hennady Zubko, who is now coordinated those actions, I do think that he will solve these issues. Of course, this does not relate only to Slovyansk. There is, are issues that pertain to coordination. And uh, I'll tell you honestly, millions of uh, IDPs is something new for us. And it is evident that the message that was there in Davos, and in many countries they treated this with surprise, was that people do not try to flee the country but look for some temporarily abode and want to come back. This is a positive signal for us all. People trust the future of Ukraine, but we do have to solve those technical issues. The Cabinet of Ministers has uh, assigned some money for this. Ask me during the next briefing. I will report to you then. Within several